in this video i explain about the flange coupling flange coupling is also a one type of rigid coupling means for using the flange coupling we are require perfect alignment between the two shaft this coupling is having two separate cast iron flange as shown in a figure now here you see this is the two flange so from this center part they are separate this is one flange this is the second flange and these flange are manufactured from the cast iron material here you see the second diagram this is the one flange this is the second flange and on both the flange number of hole is provided this is the bolt and nut this is the shaft one this is the shaft two this is the third diagram this is the assembly diagram of a flange coupling this is shaft 1 this is shaft 2 this is flange 1 flange 2 nut and bolt assembly and this part is called as the hub this is the side view of a flange coupling this part is indicate the bolt and nuts so here you see that is a four bolt and nut is used so depending on the requirement of the power transfer it may use the 4 8 or 12 nuts okay in this diagram you see that is a number of nut is there that is more than 4 means in this there is a eight bolts are there in this types of the flange coupling so it is depend on the how amount of the power is required to transfer each flange is mounted on the shaft end means at the end of the shaft this is the starting of the shaft this is the end of the shaft so at the end of the shaft the flange are is flange is mounted and this flange is mounted with the help of key so here you see this is the key Okay, here you see this is the key. So with the help of the key, the flange is mounted on the shaft. Two flanges are coupled together with the help of bolt and nut. So here you see this is a bolt. This is the nut. So with the help of bolt and nut, two flanges are together. So in this diagram also you see here the projected portion of one of the flange. and corresponding races on the another flange help to bring the shaft into a line and maintain the alignments now here you see on the one flange this part is the projected means some part is taken out okay and on the second flange the races are provided means the slot is provided okay now in this diagram here you see here the races is provided means slot is provided and on the second flange the projection is provided so they are make the complete alignment between the two flange means the inside part of the flange is not flat okay one flange the side projection is provided and on the second flange some races are provided for the perfect alignments now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to basic mechanical engineering or other subject of mechanical engineering For BME subject, various link is provided in descriptions, as well as in car. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist. So up to this, we understand the unprotected type flange coupling. Unprotected type means this here the rod is not provided about the bolt and nut. Okay, so it is called as the unprotected type flange coupling. And the second category of the flange coupling is the protected types. A flange is provided with a rod. which slatter the bolt heads and nut as shown in a figure it's called as the protected type flange coupling so here you see this part is provided it is called as the sort what is the function of the sort which provides slatters to bolt head and nut here you see this part is called as the sort this coupling prevent catching a cloth of workman this flange coupling is most accurate and rigid this coupling provide strong connection of shaft it is used for heavy power transmission at the low speed means power transmission requirement is high but the speed of the shaft is low at that time we can use the flange coupling so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video subscribe my channel and don't forget to share with your friends